could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making me. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. You know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. But nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. What was I swear I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. We would shut down. All right, all right. Welcome to Uncensored Enlightenment Talk. Yes, you're here with Grace Levi on a Wednesday evening. And we're going to be getting into some trending topics. We're going to be getting into the border crisis, some news updates um, related to Boeing. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it out of conspiracy side with that, but you know how that goes down. Some things are just ridiculous. Um, also, we're going to get in a little bit of celebrity news, local and international, okay? So you know how we do, and if we have time, we're going to have a continuation of Conspiracy Hours with Grace, Strictly on Rumble, okay? So you know how I do, give you some time, give you some of my time, I hope I'm giving you, you give me some of your time, and we have a great conversation today. Now, <clears throat> I want to start off by giving a shout out to lo love and blessings. I know many people love this man and because it's his anniversary, I feel like it's very important to give him a shout out. So shout out to Nipsey Hussle. March, it will be about five years now, if I'm not mistaken, of Nipsey Hussle's passing away. If it, I think it's five years, time went by fast. So most recently, uh, Lauren London, had did a tribute on her page, you know, just highlighting her love for Nipsey Hussle, giving him tribute, respect because of his legacy and who he was. You know, no one's perfect. But I will say the two things that sparked me to be an entrepreneur, to really just push it, it was Nipsey Hussle and Trump. Okay, yes. Once those two spirits came and they showed me a little show, so I said, you know what? Let's just do this. And I really appreciate him coming to the black community, showing us what we can do in real time, you know, living it, talking how talking it how he walk it. Okay. So I did want to start off with that to send love and blessings to Nipsey Hustle. Let me play this in the background. I'm over here talking. I'm gonna mute it because it's music, but I'm gonna play this and let his beautiful tribute play in the background. And then we're going to get to a clip of the judge actually talking to <clears throat> his erderer, because I'm not going to say his name, but, you know, Eric, it's, it's Eric Holden. And it's so crazy how you can remember those names. OK. And also we're going to see the impact of Nipsey Hussle's death. And that's why it's so important for us to actually, you know, create in our own community and also teach people how to pass on the legacy as well. But <clears throat> with Nipsey Hussle situation, I'm going to keep it real. There was a lot of obstacles in front of him. I mean, as far as what we heard went on after he died, where they literally shut down the whole um, shopping area you know, because of crime and these type of things. So a lot of people went out of business. So let's play this clip. Let's get me on the screen. Can I get it? Nope. Make sure it's going to play from the beginning, y'all. Messed up a whole community. Why? Would somebody do that to a person that was leading the whole community? Why? We want to know why the whole community relied on them. All of our stores are closed. We have nowhere to go. The only thing that we have is that shopping center. Everything we worked for, we lost everything. And that, that 
that's really hurtful because you know the conversations that I have with you guys, like do for self, you know, um, you know, just give back to your community. And this is what he did. And his life was taken tragedy, tragically, just by being in his own community and people in that community being filled with hate. You know, this was literally senseless. Um, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Just you know, out of respect, because you know, I like to go to the left and talk about conspiracies, but we're not going to get back into that. Let's just let Nipsey Hussle rest in peace. And it was five years ago, but as we know, Eric Holder is going to burn it. Okay, y'all know what I, I'm just going to keep it real. If y'all want to hear it, here we go. I'm a, hey, I don't know if repentance going to be going to help that. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.